Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC Easy PLC Warehouse Stacker Operation. Now detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, what you'll see is our machine simulator from the Easy PLC software suite. And we are currently connected to a Click Plus PLC, which you see right here. And we are communicating through our Ethernet communication port located right here. And it's going to back to our um, machine simulator and this uh, our warehouse stacker in order to control it. And it's controlling it through the I.O. that we see here. So we can view the I.O located right here and this shows us all of the digital inputs and outputs and the analog um, outputs right here which showed you the number stored in the stacker. So if we were to zoom in on the controls what you see is we have a unload button which then lights up when everything is unloaded or empty which it is right now then we have a load button right here and then we have a display of the number of, of pallets that are stored in our stacker. So we have the PLC currently in run mode and we'll just back up a little bit. And the stacker, how it actually works is that we have uh, forks on here which get extended when you're loading and this is the stacker load and then it picks it up and it puts it back on that's the load, the unload. The forks then go the other way um, when it's up and then comes back down again. So that's automatically in whether or not we hit the stacker load or unload. Then we have our position bit. So the position bit determines where things are. So this is a binary code uh, and this binary code indicates the location of the stacker itself. We have five going up and we'll just move that up a little bit. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc., all the way over to position 30. So that's how the um, stacker works. So if we just do the example and we are running, so let's hit the load button. And we have a pallet traveling along the conveyor. It will stop at the push button or the photo light that's located right here. It gets picked up by the forks, put on, and then we'll have the position stack bit then set, and then it moves and then unloads to that position. Then we have now, the stacker remains st steady for the next command. If we look at our controls now, you can see now that we have uh, one pallet now stored in our stacker. So let's zoom out. And what we'll do is we will um, allow this stacker to load uh, quite a few more. We will speed up the video in order to uh, demonstrate this and we will go to a full condition.
So as you can see, our stacker is now full. And being full, it lights up the load button and stays on constantly, just like the empty one lit up the top button. So if we look at the actual count, zoom in on that, you'll see now that we have 30 of our pallets now st stored in our stacker. So let's just zoom out now a little bit. And now what we can do is this is a, um, a FIFO, so first in, first out. And if we were to um, look at this, what we will do is the first one that we put in is on this position one. So this is the first one that we will unstack. So hitting the unload button, first of all, hitting the load button again, it won't do anything because you're full. Hitting the unload button, start that flashing, indicating that it's moving. And then we'll go to our first that we put in, and that'll be the first one that we put out. So it loads it from the storage position, moves it to the unload position, then sets it on the conveyor belt, and then it continuously goes on. The stacker is a very good way of learning indirect addressing and sequencing of operation. So the other option that the stacker will do, if we have no movement on stacker, we can open a door and that will allow us to open the door, go in and inspect, and it will light up both the low or empty and full of our stacker. Close the door again, and now we can go back and we can do our unload, which is the first in, first out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.